Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn that how we can interface a push button or simple switch with the microcontroller AT51. So we are making our simulation. So first of all, we need to click on Proteus and click on Yes. After going to the Proteus, we need to click on New Project. On New Project, we can write any name like um, Switcher or anything like that. Now we will press Next, 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 ne Finish. Okay. Now we will go to the Parts and we will write here AT51 Micro controller so here our AT51 microcontroller so click on ok <clears throat> now we have our microcontroller now you can see that there are four ports of the microcontroller port number one then port number zero from 39 to 32 from 32 to 39 number pin and then port number two and the last one is port number three so we will attach our push button with the port number one. So we will go and we will take our push <coughs> button. Okay, now we can connect it like that and the other end of the push button with that of the power. Uh, one thing uh, more kept in your mind that you also need one 120 ohm resistor is a what's called is the pull down resistor yes because uh, some microcontrollers have internal pull up and pull down while some don't have so it's better to use pull down resistors like this usually their values ranges from 1k to 10k but here we are just using 120 ohm resistor as a pull down now as an output we will attach our led which is green so we will take this green led and we will attach it with the pin number 2.0 we also need to connect ground with the led now this is our complete circuit and no need to put any sort of crystal oscillator in the Proteus because we are just interfacing a simple push button switch so no need to uh, have any sort of concentration on the frequency so it's okay for us it will enable its internal oscillator okay now now it's uh, completed now we will go to our towards our keel software so we will open keel microvision 5 <clears throat> now we need to create a new project so we will go and create new microvision project here we can write anything like uh, button 000 or like that we will save it we will select our microcontroller that is AT51 Press OK. Now we have created our project. Okay. Now we need to open a new file and we also need to save it. So press Ctrl and S. Okay. After creating this file, you need to give any uh, like a delta uh, 789 or any name and save it okay one more thing that you need to save it with the extension 789.asm so like this okay now you need to attach this delta 789 to the main project folder so click on okay sorry uh, we need to click on this add existing files to group Okay, we will write delta 789. Now we will edit out. Okay, now it is edit. 
okay now we need to write the program so first line of our program must be org 0000h so it is the initializer you must have to write this line in order to store 0 0 value in the start then you need to clear two pins one is clear pin uh, 1.0 and the second one is clear pin number 2.0 why it is so because we are using both of these pins and you must have to insert zeros inside these on these pins so uh, we have to clear it out clear pin 2.1 and clear pin 2.0 okay after it we need to uh, have our check that is jump on bit but it means that jump on bit set or jump on bit if it is one so which pin because we have attached our button with the pin with the pin 1.0 so we need to write p 1.0 comma next so what what is the meaning of this line that port is port 1 pin is pin number 0 when this pin is 1 that when there is 1 as an input on this pin so jump on the label that is this one next and what is next we will write next column uh, set bit p 2.0 set bit to p 2.0 and we will write and in the last okay now before uh, going to compile it we also need to write as jump here and also here why it is so because as jump will uh, shift when when the control when the execution of lines coding will be taken place then then on on this after this line as jump here will again throw the control to the here and if it, until the pin is set if pin is set then control goes to next okay now we, we are going to compile it so we will go and okay before going that we will click on options for target one 12 output we have to take this hex file creation now go to the project and click on build target okay so it is compiled so we need to double click on it okay so we will go to pc c users and this like desktop and objects okay so button triple zero hex is our hex file okay now we need to run it and we can see that our led is off when we use to press the push button led becomes on and when we use to leave it it will become off so all this is done in assembly language so hopefully you understand all these facts so thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.